sitting in a box in Mexico on Boxing Hi, my day. name's Nikki That's Taylor I'm and I'm sitting in a box on Boxing Day uh, with Toby who's over here. And uh, this is our final night. This is my box. I'll show you around. I've actually looked like I live here and stuff. We've got clothes. And it's just me. Um, yeah, sometimes we spend evenings like this where I don't really know what to do, so I come and sit in a box. Um, I feel like um, it's a safe place to be. I'm, I have my walls close to me, uh, and uh, yeah, it's like being in a womb. Yeah, it's kind of womb-like. Or like, not a claustrophobia suffering. Not like, claustrophobic maybe. because I've got an opening here. I've got a view, a womb with a view. <laughs> so, and um, yeah, you can hear the ocean. That's pretty nice. It's almost like being in a tree. Almost mistaken for the sounds of the rain, isn't it? Yes, this this the ocean, uh, the crashing waves can sound like rain sometimes. Uh, but we're very close. The sea is about, uh, how far is it? 40 meters. 14. 40. I oh, know, I was going to say 14 is a bit accurate. For, 40. I think he's wrong. I think it's probably about 20. Yeah, it's not Actually, very far, is it? Yeah, it's not far. It, and yeah, you can really hear it. I hope you can hear it on there too. Um, we've just had a split. We've been out for dinner. We've, we went to a restaurant tonight, which was similar to the one uh, where we had our Christmas dinner and we had the most delicious meal and the service was just really spot on. And, um, and then we were told that they've got a sister restaurant down the road, which happened to be, um, uh, another half an hour back down the road but also right next door to where we were <laughs> so we thought we'd made a huge faux pas by going to that place um, last night without realising that it's probably the same place so we went to this restaurant tonight and uh, the service was diabolical basically we um, well we got one waiter and he was really he was a bit of a he seemed like bit of a jack the lads you know but really kind of on it loved his job um knew, you know knew how to charm the customers and all that um and he lasted he was with us for about five minutes got us drinks and then we got another waiter then we got then we got our meals which was all completely wrong we only got one dish <laughs> uh and then another waiter so we got we had that um situation and then we had um then we got another waiter that came and swooped our glasses and said, um, same again? And we just like um, automatically assumed he knew what we wanted, that we, what we had, because they were all in communication. And because of last night's experience, we were like, oh yeah, we fucking love these places. They're so on it, which they were, they, they appeared to be. Anyway, he went off and came back with like some weird glass of something that wasn't what I had before, which was a Bloody Mary. But because it was so dark, I thought it was a Bloody Mary. Anyway, I tasted it. No, it wasn't. So then told that waiter that that wasn't what I wanted. No, told the first waiter that that, that wasn't the, the right drink. And I said, that guy got it wrong. And he went, oh, I know. As if to say, well, yeah, he's a shit waiter. And so he went off <laughs> and he brought back something that looked more like a Bloody Mary because it had stuff in it. And, um, and but again it was still dark the previous drink is what happened. Eh? I think they just added to the previous drink they'd made you. Yeah, they, they yeah, so then he brought back this drink and again you couldn't see it but it definitely wasn't red and it's like oh maybe they've put too much Liam Perrins in it or something because yeah, it was quite strong, dark. So then I tasted it, I just thought, God, yeah, maybe they've put too much Liam Perrins in it, they've done it wrong, they don't know what they're doing. Because the other one was amazing. Anyway, so they took that back. So no, then I got that second guy who um, who came and swooped our glasses and I said, uh, no, that's not the right one. So he went 
I said, no, yeah, that's not the right one. So he swooped them off again to the bar and I looked over and they were like laughing and I was like, you know, it's like they don't, they, he didn't know it was Bloody Mary anyway. And he didn't even ask what it was that we wanted. So anyway, anyway, I'm just rambling on now. Um, so anyway, ev everything went downhill from there on. And um, yeah, we got one. Now you're in a box. Uh, now I'm in a box rambling on. And uh, so yeah, so we only had one meal and one starter. Um, and they seemed to sort it out, didn't they, in the end? But yeah, yeah we had, I think that the, anyway, uh, the the story, the reason why I'm telling this story is because we were really, really gutted that we'd walked up the road or got a taxi, spent money on a taxi to go to this amazing restaurant for amazing food and then to, to then be told that actually it was only next door, <laughs> the same restaurant, but it wasn't, it was far shitter, in fact it was horrendous in comparison, isn't that right Tobes? That is right, yeah. So, yeah, so that's good. We've had a good evening. We, we, we made the right decision last night on Christmas Day. We did. The most important day of the holiday, quite frankly, because yeah. we all love Christmas. It was quite weird being in a hot country. We don't all love Christmas, do we, Toby? I do. He likes it. I don't really care. I got the most presents I've ever had, I think off Toby. He did something really sweet and opened all the presents, uh, opened, I opened all the presents individually. He wrapped them all individually. <laughs> so that was quite nice. Had lots of things to open. I've taken a photo of them. I will, I can show you when I do my video blog or whatever. <laughs> There's no way you're if, doing that. When, I'm gonna, when somebody's eventually going to even show me how to do a, a website, never mind a blog. I have got a blog, but it's all higgledy piggledy. It's like bits of writing here um, from 2010 with pictures from 2013. And then there's articles in the midst of that which have no relation to those blog articles. They're all a bit out No, of to the well. travelling, like most of them are travelling with photos to accompany the travelling article. And then, like, in the middle of that, there's like all these really serious articles on politics and shit. It's like, it doesn't. Well, it could go if you were doing like a travelling political, uh, political um, adventure, like to Cuba, where you want, you know, you go to learn about Che Guevara and your son's sexism. <laughs> that was quite a political experience. <laughs> I could write a good. I could have written a good blog to accompany that. Actually. <laughs> anyway, Toby's having a nice time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my box. Anyway, you need to see how beautiful it is. Toby, show people the, the box. This is Nikki's box. That's a bit rude, Toby. Don't actually show Nikki's box. <laughs> and uh, so we get stoned on an evening, don't we, Toby? And our humour's a little bit slap, dash, slap, whatever you call it. Yeah, basic. <laughs> basic humour. I don't think it's basic. I think it's quite, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's quite unique. <laughs> advanced humour. We've gone past intermediate. We did, we did intermediate in the first... We got over that in a few days, didn't we? Intermediate humour, yeah. We, yeah, we excelled to advanced. Because it fucking so funny. Yeah, we're in advanced humour now. And we and we have been ever since those three days past. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> Hi, cheers. <laughs>